Consciousness is the ultimate medium. Download it into another person's consciousness. You have to get it out of your head and into a medium. People explain it for magical reasons, basically, because this is the power of Mestre Dineu and power of Mestre Gabriel, and you know. This ball of light goes right past me, right in front of me, like, what was that? It didn't scare me, except it was so close. After that, I started looking around. It's like you're in this place, and you're going, why am I in this place? I got into this space, and there were some archangels or whatever sitting there. In the meantime, I'm cruising, you know, uh, all of space time. So, you know, okay, we go out, and I saw the alien elves crystal creatures and they're really really there just a dream well what if the alien crystal creatures is a really great way of understanding a really great way of remembering what it was out there there is a intelligence or a consciousness something that is called the creator. Maybe that contains and has contained since the beginning of evolution recorded messages, interactive recorded information from our makers waiting for the evolution of a creature that would be able to understand those messages and decode them. And the suggestion is that creature is us and the decoding method is altered states of consciousness the world that is just behind our ability to see and perceive. Alternative realities come up very fast. And for some people, well, most people, it's a bit of an ontological shock. And uh, sometimes some of the things that one sees in those realms are beings. Because we don't have a tradition of respect for these incredibly powerful forces, then, as a culture, we get into dangerous places. This spark of consciousness that I was left with, awareness, at some point intercepts with this thing, and, I, and th that recognized something. I said, oh, I'm a part of this. I think it, well, I would say it was an implicit reality. It was like more real than anything else I could name to you right now. It was like, it was not like looking at it, by, but being it. Sense of all of existence being present just as this incredible source of light, but, you know, doesn't do it justice to call it light. I mean, it was extremely radiant, uh, incandescent uh, source of light, but at the same time there was a sense that uh, it was like all of creation was there in, a, in just a pure potential form. I still refer to that experience as sort of the, the, the real clear opening of a certain awareness that we are the divine, that it's not out there or, you know, bunch of writings and nice ideas, but it exists as an implicit reality inside of us. My work is completely changed by my psychedelic experiences. And uh, this was one of my most powerful experiences ever, if not the most powerful experience. DMT has, I would say, has profoundly changed my life. 
because I have, I've always been interested in music, but I've, somehow the experiences under ayahuasca and DMT have opened my ears to everything. This is the most personally meaningful experience of my life. But it was almost as though the vibrations were nothing like they were before I had had the experience. The things, things are appearing and disappearing all the time in these other realities. It was such a profound experience to have been out there in deep space. And, and I'm not the kind of person that would have expected this kind of experience. I believe in understanding, and especially understanding important issues. And the effects of these substances, uh, they used to be called psychedelic, which was a very good word because Literally, all it means is uh, mind disclosing. That characterized dimethyltryptamine as a neurotransmitter. It's actually here, and it all hangs together, and we go out and come back. It has electrophysiological activity. It can cause a signal to be sent between neurons. We owe our very humanity uh, to, those, to those experiences. Um, I believe that the introduction, reintroduction, of, of psychedelics into Western society will have a transformative effect over time. For all things are, are interconnected and all beings and things are one and the light of love flows through. In the society that we live in today which is so negative about such experiences we, by accepting that negativity we may be denying ourselves the next step forward in our own evolution. No citizen shall be deprived of the right to experience the full range of human consciousness. This reality is not really the reality as we as saw it as we think it is, and shows us that there are multiple levels and that we can't really distinguish between dream and reality. We only think this is real because we are asleep. So if we awaken from this dream of our reality, we'll see that this was only a dream too. But to be out there with these other life forms, this greater intelligence, uh, was absolutely astonishing. And then later in the day, this was first thing in the morning, and then later in the day I had to be the chaperone on the first grade field trip for my son, and I'm looking at <laughs> the whole world from this different perspective. I have been out in the universe so far beyond this earth plane and now I'm back here trying to integrate with the first grade class. You know, poop production.